Julian, we have KJ Britt. And if you have a question, please put your name in the chat. And our first one is from Tongov. And I'll not try and mess up your last name, Tongov. But thank you. Thank you. Question. Uh, KJ, I hope you're doing well today. Um, you're obviously one of the best outside linebackers in the country. Any NFL teams inquire on seeing you on any different positions? No, uh, most teams are looking at me as a Mike linebacker. Next is Rafi Alvin. Hey, KJ, it's Rafi Alvin, a three point conversion. First thing, congrats on uh, your career and making it to this point. What are some of the attributes that you have that you say will be your strengths that you can't see on film or, you know, in a pro day? Uh, the relationships I make with my teammates, um, the way I care about ball. The way I care about my teammates and everybody who's um, going to help um, my team win. Um, also, just my competitiveness. Um, I hate to lose in anything. Um, I feel like that my competitiveness, my, the way I compete, is kind of you know scary to a extent. But um, those things right there is kind of kind of things that you really want to see unless you really know me. Next. Question from Brennan Rupp. Um, I feel like that um, I'm learning what to do. Um, really and truthfully, I just doing what I would be in coach to do. Um, so I'm just I'm learning, trying to take my game to the next level. Now, yeah, I know this is one part, so I'm gonna have to take my game to the next level. Next question is from Matthew Sargent. Hey, KJ. Uh, Matthew with Dyke Sports Page. Hope you're doing well. Uh, just wanted to ask, I know every Saturday you're going out there and you're being evaluated, uh, but you still got a game to play. But what are some of the unique pressures to a day like today where the number one thing on your mind is your evaluations? Man, there's no pressure. Um, either you got it or you don't. Um, and that's, that's the mindset I had. I mean, just do what I could do. Uh, no pressure. It is what it is. I mean, either you're going to impress heads or you're going to um, make heads go down. You just got to do what you got to do. So. Awesome. Thank you, KJ. Okay. Next question from Jordan Hill. KJ, I want to ask you about last season. How tough was that having to miss as much time as you did? But also, you know, we saw you during pregame being in there with the drills and with your teammates. How important was that to you to, to still be there with the team? I mean, it was really important. Um, I still love Auburn. I still love my teammates. I still love um, everything that I've helped build here. And I still want to be a part of it. So I feel like me staying around was one of the biggest things that I could do for myself. Me being a man, uh, me giving my team my word, me being voted team captain. So I feel like me staying around was something I had to do um, just because of that's who I am. Question from Fran Duffy. Owen Papo as a Kobe McLean. Uh, what, what makes them stand out? Just turn on the film, just watch them play football. Um, they're different. Um, different type of animals, different type of beasts. Both can run, both can play the football. Not a lot of faults. Um, they're just the type of linebackers and the type of players that everybody wants. He ain't played number two games, so um, probably um, AJ Rose from Kentucky. Next question from Arnie Stapleton.
Yeah, I, I really believe it is. Um, shout out to Jim Nagy for inviting me. Shout out to Senior Board Committee for having me. Um, because I believe that I could put my um, my abilities and my talents on sh showcases against some of the best talent and some of the best ability that that you're gonna see. Um, then just coming out being rusty as I was and still uh, being, you know, one of the best down there. I think that speaks a lot about you know what type of player I am. So I, I believe that. I knew the senior bowl was a big opportunity, so I was like, I got to take advantage of it. And I put all my feelings aside, put it how I was feeling to the side, and I just wanted to play ball. Hey, kid, good luck. Next, we'll go back to Arnie Stapleton. studying ball, me knowing ball, um, it's going to be able to help me a lot. Um, and then just, you know, being eager to learn. I'm sure I'll be a part of a team um, that, that have vets, uh, whatever. So just me um, just trying to soak up as much knowledge as I can and just trying to be a sponge. Thank you. Question from Gianna Hahn. Hey, KJ. Um, I really haven't really talked to a lot of the coaches, um, but I, I, I'm sure everything is going swell. Um, I know Coach Harson. I talked to him one time, and he was just, you know, just saying he's glad to have me back. And my conversation with the teammates, you know, they're they enjoying the coaching staff, they enjoying working out, and they enjoying everything here. Next is a question from Alex Clemens. Man came with the punch. <laughs> uh, probably me just showing what I have done. Um, I do have a resume like on how um, I led um, on and off the field. Um, I have many examples. I have many people who could back up my story. Um, but me, me, I'm just going to tell you right now that every time, every person I lead, I'm going to have a strong relationship with, and that's going to help. You know me with my leadership and I'm going to be the model character type of leader um, that I could be. I'm going to do everything right, be on time, treat people right, um, know the in and out of everything that I have to know. I'm not going to be that guy. Uh, I'm not going to be the, you know, the, that guy who you got to drag around. I'm going to be accountable to myself and really and truthfully, the way that I'm going to be able to help lead is just by me being me. Um, secondly, uh, the probably best running back I've played in college probably was Mm. Play some good ones. Um, Jerry Swift or probably Najee Harris. You can pick one. Um, also, yeah, I can, I can play a 3-4 system. Next is a question from Mark Burns. Hey, Coach, what's your thoughts on Jalen Hurts? Hey, KJ, talk about how your pro day went. Was there anything you were particularly pleased with today? Um, I think it went well. I think I was pleased with um probably my own the field drills. Um, I pretty much knew like what my time was going to be before I got here, so it really didn't shock me. Um, just glad I didn't run a too slow time, you know. Um, and I'm just, you know, grateful for the opportunity, to be honest. 20, 24 reps, is that what you expected on the bench? Uh, yeah, man. Um, but I wish I, if somebody was counting for me, I wish I had somebody counting for me. I ain't had nobody out there counting for me. I didn't even know it was 24. Or I just got up, I was like, oh, I probably could have, you know, fought, fought my nuts about it if I knew how many reps I was doing, but it is what it is. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Tips on your game because you are phenomenal out there, my brother. I've watched. 
um, my coach, um, Coach Travis William. Um, you know, he's at UCF now, but he was one of the he he believed in me before I believed in me. Um, sometimes I get nervous and I lack confidence in what I really can do. Uh, but when the when the lights are on, when it's time to shine, I'm there. Uh, but he, my coach, always pushed me, pushed me, pushed me to the edge. And sometimes I I ain't like it, but it is what it is. Um, I had to get better, so. Uh, it, my coach gave me all the tips and all the reminders and everything that I need to be. And then, you know, playing behind Deshaun Davis and Trey Williams and Daryl and um, Monte At Atkinson, um, just, you know, just being a sponge. And um, I really came into a good situation that I took advantage of. Put your pride aside, man, and just uh, and just put your head down to work. Um, you know, pride a dangerous thing. You know, with some a lot of people don't want to listen to one another, but um, not saying you gotta do everything that somebody's saying doing, or you gotta uh, be like somebody. Uh, but you can always have your eyes open, ears open, and always looking out and re relate everything that you learn back into you, and then just find your why, um, find your reason why, and that'll that'll help you along the way. Um, I know it's a big role. I know it's a big task, but I'm up to it. Um, that's a part of my competitive spirit. Um, a lot of teams, you know, just tell me, like, you know, the requirements and stuff like that, you know, just having a mic in your ear, hugging everybody up, setting the pace for the defense, um, you know, leadership. And those are something that, I, that I'm already accustomed to. So I don't think it's going to be too big of a transition, like, mentally. I think it's just going to have to do – Just I just got to get there. You know what I'm saying? Mainly because who I serve, I'm sorry, but um, I know who I serve, and I know like that. There's been many times, you know, that man want to get bigger than that self, and um, but you gotta always come back into reality that you know that we're our humble servants, and me being humble, um, me being myself, me being me, from what my grandma, uh, my mom, my dad, my grandparents, from everybody, all my parent family that helped pray for me, and um. It really gave me what I needed to, you know, gave me the mentally uh, stability I need to this day to actually, like, continue just to do what I do. And that's how I am. I mean, it is what it is. I'm just going to always be the same person no matter what, no matter how much money. I'm always going to be KJ. Thanks again, KJ. Good luck in the NFL. Thank you. Next up is going to be Seth Williams.